Good morning everybody, I'm Shane Charchar here with another health supplement tip for the day. So working in a health food store, one of the big things I see so many people come in for, I mean after weight loss or trends they see online, is most people tend to suffer from some type of sleep disorder. They have problems with sleeping, whether it's falling asleep, staying asleep, waking up groggy, all kinds of things. So they come into a health food store and they don't want to take sleeping pills, but they want something that works like a sleeping pill, which is completely impossible to find because when you take the natural route, it's super different. It's not like a sleeping pill that you're going to take it, be knocked out, sleep, and get all kinds of side effects. You've got to go the natural route. And the natural route, what it's going to do is it's going to reprogram your system. Okay? So... The first thing, I, I've learned to ask a lot of questions when it comes to sleep. And there's one word that scares everybody, melatonin. Everybody seems to try melatonin. And the first thing that happens is when I suggest anything with either melatonin in it or melatonin itself, people go, I tried it, it doesn't work, it's horrible stuff. Uh, and they, they have a whole variety of excuses why melatonin doesn't work. And I... Here's the thing. One, people tend to not take melatonin the right way, or two, they're not treating the right problem. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you what melatonin does, maybe it's right for you, um, but then I'm going to give you the supplements that may be best for you. So I made a list right here, um, you know, the top selling like ingredients or whatever, and maybe that's what you need, not melatonin, okay? so. Here's what melatonin is going to do. You're going to take melatonin. It is not a sleeping pill. It just regulates your your when you go to sleep and when you wake up. So that's all it's going to do. So every night you're going to have to go to bed at the same time. I like to go to bed fairly early, 9 o'clock, sometimes 10. Like I'm in bed early. I get up early. So I'll take a melatonin one hour before bed. Um, and I do that only like three or four days a week. Okay, so I don't do it seven days a week, and it just, it regulates it. When you take it one hour before bed, it helps to make you a little sleepy, so when you do get into bed, you're able to fall asleep, and kind of, it just regulates your cycle. That's all it does. It's also a great antioxidant. It's not something you're going to take, and boom, you're going to be out for eight hours. And that's a myth, by the way. If I had a dollar for every time somebody says, oh, I wake up in the middle of the night, well, of course you wake up. We all sleep in different sleep cycles. Now, that's pretty complicated. I'm sure you can find a video and just type in sleep cycles and you'll, you'll see that. But you sleep in all these different cycles, like waves, so you are going to wake up. It doesn't matter how good this, the sleep program you're on, you will wake up. It's just what happens. You move, you toss, you turn, you dream, you go in and out of these cycles, and what happens is you do wake up. But when you're on a really good sleep program, you wake up, but you're able to fall back asleep. You're not going to wake up at like two or three and be up for an hour. So, um, it doesn't matter, like any of these supplements I'm going to give you, you will not sleep eight hours straight uninterrupted. It may happen a couple of times, but it's just you're really waking up, but you probably won't notice. But what's going to happen is you will get a, a deeper, more relaxing sleep. So melatonin, just there to regulate your sleep cycle. It is not a sleeping pill. You're not going to take it and then be boom out for eight hours. Maybe the first time, but not all the time. Okay, so... Um, let's get into this. First ingredient that a lot of people look for for sleeping is magnesium. So magnesium is great because we're all deficient in it. So I believe everybody should take magnesium no matter what. But when you take magnesium right before bed, it helps people with restless legs, people that kind of can't stop moving at night. It feeds the central nervous system, so it helps to calm you down and relax you. Everybody needs magnesium, so I do suggest everybody take magnesium. It doesn't matter, um, like, if you think you need it or you don't, you do. Everybody just needs magnesium. Just know that one thing it's going to do, it's going to help to prevent calcium deposit. It tells calcium where to go. That's another reason you want to take magnesium, but it's got so many uses in the body. But for sleep, it calms you down, makes you have a um, healthy central nervous system, 
and it helps to calm you down. So it's great right before bed. So everybody needs magnesium. Another thing people tend to look for, 5-HTP. Okay, do you need 5-HTP? Here, I'm gonna ask you one or two questions. Do you suffer from low mood? Like, is your mood low a lot? Okay, if you feel your mood needs to be lifted a little, that's where 5-HTP may come in handy. It's going to help your serotonin levels, which in turn help your melatonin levels for sleeping better. But I tend to say to people, you probably don't need 5-HTP if you don't suffer from some type of like, if you're a fairly happy person, you probably don't need 5-HTP, but if your mood is low, maybe try taking 5-HTP and regulate those serotonin levels, which in turn can help your melatonin levels. Okay, so we've covered magnesium, 5-HTP. Here's another one, GABA. So some people take GABA. I've taken GABA myself, but here's what I've learned with GABA. You have to take really high doses of GABA, and I find that GABA for me does not work as well. So what is GABA? Well, GABA, I think it's made in your brain. Somehow you have GABA, but think of it this way. When you take a sip of alcohol, that first relaxing feeling, that's GABA being activated. So that's what GABA is. But here's the problem with GABA supplements. A lot of people say they don't absorb, they don't cross the blood-brain barrier, meaning your body's not going to absorb GABA as well as it should. I have taken GABA and I find it works, but over time taking these high doses, I find it didn't work very well for me. So. If you are one of these people that go to bed at night and you have anxiety, you can't shut your mind off, GABA may be right for you. And however, there's a better supplement for that that will work to trigger the GABA. So as opposed to taking GABA supplements, look into taking L-theanine supplements. L-theanine supplements, if you are the type of person that goes to bed, you can't shut your brain off, you suffer from a little bit of anxiety, take GABA, or sorry, take L-theanine, and L-theanine is fantastic to calm the brain. It's, again, like when you take your first sip of alcohol, you drink wine, anything, you know you drink like half a glass and it just kind of calms you down? That's what L-theanine does because it's helping to trigger GABA. But if you supplement with GABA, just because it's in your brain doesn't mean your body necessarily knows how to convert that supplement to trigger it, okay? So I don't know if that makes sense, but if you have the choice between GABA and L-theanine, from my experience, I'd suggest taking L-theanine. I'm not saying GABA doesn't work, but I don't know, I just find L-theanine works best for me. And studies show that the body knows how to kind of like convert L-theanine better to make it work, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So if you have anxiety, can't shut your brain off at night, like an hour before bed, take L-theanine or take GABA. Okay, now, here's supplements that I think that people have heard work well for sleep, but I would say there's better products. So I'm gonna cover these. And these are the herbs, okay? So valerian, valerian herbs, Ugh. Valerian, if you ever get Valerian supplements, you open up that bottle, it's going to smell awful. Some people like Valerian because it's an herb and over time it calms you down. That's all it does, it just calms you down. And I, I would say I've never tried it, but I don't think it's a great sleep supplement. But if you need something to calm you down, I think L-theanine is probably going to work better than Valerian. but. Valerian, in my opinion, eh, try it, but don't expect to like be knocked out by Valerian. Another herb, passion flower. Passion flower is pretty good, but it's just going to calm me down slightly. Another thing too, chamomile. So chamomile tea right before bed just calms you down, takes the stress off, takes the edge off. So. If you have a little, out of those three herbs, I'd say, yeah, maybe skip the valerian, skip the passion flower. I mean, if you use them, that's fine. They work for you. But if you find you just need something to calm you down at the end of the day, try chamomile tea. Maybe that'll work for you. But here's the big one. Here's what I think everybody should be on, okay? Other than magnesium. Are you the type of person that 
you can fall asleep, but then you wake up between two and four and you're up for like an hour, two hours, I think everybody needs to treat their adrenals. It's super important, I've done it myself and I just recently got back on my adrenal formula. Um, so an adrenal formula, a really good one, will have ashwagandha in it and it will also have uh, rhodiola. If you can find one, like an adrenal formula with those two things in it, it's really going to help your adrenals. So I know when my adrenals are stressed is what I'll do is I take some sleep supplements but I find that when I start to wake up for a few weeks in a row where it's like between two and four and I'm up for about an hour and I can't get back to sleep, it's time for me to start taking my adrenal formula and within one week I am able to like fall asleep, stay asleep when I do wake up, I, I can fall right back asleep and you wake up feeling very well rested. So I think here's the things, if you have problems sleeping personally, I think you should be on very low dose melatonin, magnesium, and an adrenal formula. The adrenal formula just take for like one or two months, the magnesium take all the time, and the melatonin, I don't know, take it like three to five days a week. You don't have to take a high dose, super low dose, just take it maybe Monday through Friday um, and try and get to bed at the same time all the time. So that's some uh, ways that uh, you can get some better sleep. And if you have any other questions about sleep supplements, which I'm sure everybody has questions about sleep supplements, what has worked well for you? Let us know in the comments below or email me at shanespiltalk at yahoo.com because um, I'm really interested to know like doses of what you take, what you found has worked, what you found has not worked. But please don't comment below. Well, you can if you want. Say melatonin doesn't work. It's not that it doesn't work. It has its use. It's just most people are doing the, taking the wrong products for the wrong thing that they're trying to treat. I hope this video made sense. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Share it on social media because everybody has problems sleeping, it seems. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Shane Chachra saying stay healthy, stay motivated, and I'll see you later. Talk to you later. Bye.